To cure a few people's curiosity, I decided to cut open the charcoal canister in the evaporator system of the fuel injection system. And uh, you know what they say about curiosity. I'm not too much of a cat guy, I'm more of a dog guy, so I might survive this. But here it goes. As an added treat for you guys watching my video, I decided to cut this canister open as I saw through it. These uh, granular pellets just began to pour out of it. I guess this thing was full of those. And when you look down in the end of it, there's some kind of baffle down there that end. And on this end, there's some kind of baffle. Uh, not sure if I got the energy to cut through that, but there's some kind of metal cylinder. I don't know if it's spring-loaded or not. Let me see. Yeah, it's actually spring-loaded. Let me see if I could pull that out of there. As you can see, this uh, piece does come out, and there is a spring in there. So, I don't know why this would be spring-loaded. But anyway, that goes in like that. That goes in like that. And I guess these granulars fill it up and maybe it has some kind of suction or something on there that makes it, you know, go in and out. Anyway, that's what you got there. This other side is spring loaded as well. So there goes your treat. The baffle system cut open. If you don't see any videos from me from now on, you know I've developed some kind of illness from the poisons that I got from opening up this thing and it was nice knowing you guys other than that I'll be back in a day or two with another video I have seen a video where someone was dumping the granulars out of the tubes on the end I guess the only way that can happen is if the uh, little gasket material in there has deteriorated away which of course would make this bad but uh, other than that, that those yellow things should keep the granulars inside. So if you've got any granulars coming out, it's definitely bad. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.